Hello again, Nareg is here. So today we're going to talk about the quadratic inequality. Uh, in this part, you just have to check the previous video where I was talking about how to study the sine of a quadratic function. Once you know how to study the sine of a quadratic function, it will be easier to calculate or to solve actually the quadratic inequality. In this case, I'm going to take a few examples which will uh, let you know about the different types of inequalities that you can have in the quadratic equation. So let's start with the first example. You have 2x squared minus x plus 1 positive. We're looking for the values for which this polynomial or this quadratic equation will be positive. Now, the first thing that you should go through is delta. Delta is b squared minus 4ac. It's minus 1 to the power of 2, minus 4 times 2a, and c, which is 1. So it's 1 minus 8. 1 minus 8 is negative. Delta is negative. What does it mean when delta is negative? Very simple. No real roots. So when you don't have any real roots, you cannot factorize. Since I cannot fact factorize this polynomial, I will have to check the sine of a. Now, the function will take the same sign as a. a is plus 2. It is positive. That's why this function will be positive for any value of x. So, whenever I'm looking for the positive part, I can say directly that 2x squared minus x plus 1, it will be strictly positive for any value of x which belongs to the real numbers. I can take any, any value of x belonging from the real numbers, and it will give me a positive value. That's why this quadratic equation, the quadratic inequality, is verified for any value of x which, which belongs to the real numbers. Now well, let's take another example. Again, minus x squared plus 2x plus 3. I want to solve it in order to have positive. So I'm looking forward for the values of x, which will give me positive value. I will calculate delta. Delta is b squared minus 4ac. So it's 2, ta 2 to the power of 2 minus 4 times. a is minus 1. c is minus 3. So it's 4 times. Uh, so 2, 2 to the power of 2, it's 4. Minus, minus 4 times minus 1 times minus 3, it's minus 12. So it's minus 8. Delta is again negative. Delta negative, no real roots. I cannot factorize this polynomial. So this polynomial will take the same sign as A. So I will have to check A. A in this case is negative. So this polynomial will always be negative just like the sign of A. I'm looking forward to find positive values. So I can say, since this polynomial is negative, there are no real solution for this inequality. There are no values for, for which I will replace x and I will obtain positive value. No, I will always get a negative value just like the sign of a. That's why I will have to say no real solution for this inequality. Now let's take another example. Minus 3x squared plus 2 square root of 3x minus 1 greater than 0. So I'm looking forward to find greater uh, the values of x for, for which it will give me greater than 0. Again, I will go through delta. Delta is b squared minus 4ac. So it's 2 square root of 3 to the power of 2 minus 4 times minus 3, which is a, and c is minus 1. So I will obtain... 2, to 2 times square root of 3 to the power of 2 is 12. Minus 4 times minus 3 times minus 1, it's minus 12. 12 minus 12 is 0. Delta is 0. What does it mean? I have one real double root. But I'm not looking forward to find the real double root. I'm looking forward to find 
the values of x of the values of x for which it will give me a positive uh, solution. So I will have to check the sign of a. A is minus three. It's negative. So this whole polynomial will have the same sign as a, which is negative. If this polynomial is always negative, I cannot have any real solution for this uh, polynomial. That's why no real solution except for x, which is equal to minus b over 2a, which is square root of 3 over 3. Now, for this value, it will be 0, but I'm not looking also for, forward to find 0. I'm looking forward to find strictly positive, um, while my polynomial is always negative. That's why no real solution. Let's take another example where for which delta it will be 0. Again, 2x squared plus 2x plus 1 over 2. And I'm looking forward to find uh, this inequality as a positive value. Delta is b squared minus 4ac. 2 to the power of 2 minus 4 times a is 2. c is 1 over 2. 4 minus 4. Delta is 0. So one real double root and the polynomial will take the same sign as a. a is positive, so the polynomial will remain always positive. So when I'm looking forward to find positive values, I can say this polynomial will remain positive, since a is positive, for any value of x which belongs to r, except for x is equal to minus b over 2a, which is minus 1 over 2 which is a double root, but I'm not looking forward to find zero. I'm looking forward to have strictly positive. And this polynomial, it will be strictly positive for any value of x. It could be x is equal to 5, minus 5, plus 3, minus square of root of 3, etc., etc., any value of x. Now let's take another example. 4x squared minus 5x plus 1, which is equal to 0. Now I can calculate delta 25 minus 16, which is 9, which is positive, or I can simply say it's a plus b plus 0, a plus b plus 0 plus c, which is equal to 0. So one of the root is plus 1, and the other one is c over a, 1 over 4. So I have two, di two real distinct roots. Having two real distinct roots and the sign of a, I should go through a table. So delta is positive. I have two distinct real roots plus the sine of a. I will have to go through a table. In this case, x is going from minus infinity to plus infinity, passing by 1 over 4 and 1. The function will be 0 for 1 over 4 and will be 0 for x is equal to 1. Between 1 over 4 and 1, the function will be the opposite sine of a. A is 4, it's positive. I will have to say it's negative between these two values. Outside these two values, the function will be positive, positive. Now, I have this table which will give me the sign of the function. What I'm looking forward to find is the positive part. I want to have this polynomial as strictly positive. So, the function is positive in this part, which belongs for to x going from minus infinity to 1 over 4. And there is another part from 1 to plus infinity. So I, I will have to unite between minus infinity to 1 over 4 union from 1 to plus infinity. This part does not concern my solution. Why? Because I want to have positive values. That in this part it's negative. So you can say x strictly smaller than 1 over 4 and x greater than 1. So whenever I'm taking values of x smaller than 1 over 4, this polynomial will be positive. Or any value of x which is greater than 1 for this polynomial, it will be positive. If I take any value between 1 over 4 and 1, the polynomial will be negative, which is not the case. That's why you choose this solution from minus infinity to 1 over 4 union 1 to, the, to plus infinity. Of course, the bracket should be in, in this side since we are 
looking for to find strictly positive and not equal to zero. One last example. Minus x squared minus 3x plus 10, which is equal to zero. I will have to calculate delta. Delta is 9 plus 40. It's 49. It's positive. Two real distinct roots. x1 is minus b plus square root of delta over 2a. So you just have to calculate. It will give you plus 2. As for the second root, it will be minus 5. I have two real distinct roots. And a is negative. It's minus 1. So I will have to go through a table. x going from minus infinity to plus infinity. The first value of x is, the critical is minus 5. The second value is 2. So the function will be 0 for minus, one, for minus 5, and it will be 0 for 2. Between minus 5 and 2, it will be the opposite sign of a. a is negative, so you just have to say it's positive in this part. So, outside minus 5 and outside 2, it will be the same sign as a, which is negative, negative. What I'm looking forward to find is positive. I want to have this polynomial to be positive. This polynomial is positive, this function is positive between, for the values of x between minus 5 and 2. So the solution is between minus 5 and 2. I cannot say it's between minus infinity to, till, plus, uh, till, till minus 5 because the function will be negative and I'm looking forward to find positive values. That's why it's only between minus 5 and 2. So you can simply say S solution is between minus 5 and 2 or x between minus 5 and 2 strictly now the last part how can i solve a system of inequalities solving a system of quadratic inequations you you have the first equation inequality x squared minus 4 which is negative and x squared minus 4 x minus 5 x plus 4 which is positive. I'm looking forward to find negative for the first one and positive for the second part. And then, of course, it's a system, so I want to have the values for both these equations, and these, these inequalities. The first inequality, I can simply say it's x minus 2, the second factor x plus 2, which should be negative. The second polynomial, if you can check, it's a plus b plus c, which is equal to 0. So one of the root is 1. The second root is c over a, 4 over 1, which is 4. So you can directly say it's x minus 1, the first factor, and x minus 4, the second factor. And I'm looking forward to find positive. This should be positive. And of course, in this case, I should go through a table. So x going from minus infinity to plus infinity, it will be 0 for minus 2, 0 for 2. The function will be negative for any value between minus 2 and 2. It's the opposite sign of a, so it's negative. You will have to say outside minus 2 and outside 2 it will be positive positive and I'm looking forward to find negative so negative is for the solution s1 minus 2 and 2 between minus 2 and 2 as for the second one x going from minus infinity to plus infinity passing by 1 and 4 x squared minus 5x plus 4 it will be Negative between these two values, 1 and 4. Why? Because A is positive, so I will take the opposite sign, which is negative. And outside 1, outside 4, it will be positive, positive. And of course, I'm looking forward to find the positive value. So the solution S2 for the second inequality is for any value of x between minus 1, minus infinity and 1, and from 4 to plus infinity, it will give me a positive polynomial. The polynomial will be positive. Since I have S1 and S2, and I have a system, I should check the solution, the final solution. It will be the intersection between S1 and S2. 
So let's proceed. S1, just like we said, it's the value between minus 2 and 2. As for S2, it's from minus infinity to 1, union from 4 to plus infinity. The solution of this system will be S is equal to S1 inter intersection, of course, by S2. So S1 from minus 2 till 2, and S2 for any value of x below 1, smaller than 1, and any value of x greater than 4. Now, my final solution of this system will be the intersection between S1 and S2. So I will have to check which part S1 and S2 are in common. So as you can see, this part, this whole part, it's common between S1 and S2. So my final solution, it will be from minus 2 till 1. It's this part which is common for these two solutions, S1 and S2. It will be the final solution, S, so from minus 2 till 1. This is how you can solve a quadratic, uh, a system of quadratic inequations. That's all for today. I hope uh, it was helpful. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So this is my channel. And of course, I'm going to share with you my uh, Instagram account or Facebook account. Of course, uh, you can subscribe to my channel and new vid videos will be added pretty soon. I hope you enjoyed and have a good day.